All right, we're recording here. Okay, so normally we do an eight and a half by 11, but I don't know if you guys know this, but whenever we've done stickers or stuff like that, uh, let's make it the actual size. And I don't know if you read on there, let's make it four by four maximum. So let's do, or if you already made eight and a half by 11, just do a new one. Make sure this is in inches, right? This way, when we put them all together in the one big file to output them, um, None of them are eight and a half by 11. We don't have to do any clip masking or anything like that. Cool. So four by four or three and a half by three and a half, whatever you want. Okay. I'm going to do a four by four. Now that doesn't mean your sticker square or rectangle, but it's got to fit on there. Everybody good there? Yeah. Four by four. All right. It's going, it's going. Green sharing is stopped. Why? Why, why, why? Still good. All right. I don't know what's going on. Let's, let's try our best. Okay. So... Sorry, it's because the projector messes up all my stuff here. So there's some basic stuff that we want. And one of them is it's got to say Happy Halloween on there. And uh, your copyright, which is going to be very easy. I'm gonna Let's do that first, the boring part first. All right. So... Uh, again, some of you guys are still fighting me on naming your layers. <laughs> I don't know why. Especially some of you guys are actually organized young people, and yet you don't want to do layers. All right, so layer one, let's call this uh, copyright. And I know some of you guys are like, uh, how's this going to be copyrighted? Well, it's going to kind of be your original one. All right, the next one's going to say Happy Halloween. All right, so we got copyright, happy Halloween. Cut line only. All right? I'll give you guys a few seconds there. Cut line only. All right, everyone doing okay? Let's get this done so we know what to do. Uh. All right, so you got to have those three, I'd say, for sure. And then as you start placing your stuff or putting your images, right, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to use pumpkins. You don't have to do this if you're not going to use pumpkins. And then, uh, I don't know, just uh, images. In the old days, we'd call it placed images, right? Because guess what? You place an image, right? All right. Okay. And I would say that's your minimum amount of layers. Cool? Everybody got that? All right. Hopefully, everybody had this in inches, right? Don't be that person that made this super ginormous or made this the size of a grain of rice, right? If that's happened to you, you know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't do that, right? Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to go and look at samples. Um, I'm gonna go to Etsy. And again, you can follow along or just watch, right? But I'm trying to get some ideas. If you already have an idea, good. Write it down, sketch it out. I'm going to type funny. Hopefully we don't get anything anything inappropriate. Funny Halloween. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm just going to type that. Let's see. Hopefully we don't get anything bad. Oh, that's kind of funny. Like people that believe in ghosts are not believe in yourself. Uh, oh, that's funny. I found this humorous. Pretty good. All right. Oh, look at that one. That one's cool. With, uh, Michael Myers and Jason. Oh, that's funny. Look at that. That looks AI generated. Anybody doing any AI generated stuff lately? Look at that. That is awesome. I don't know about the car, why they're in front of that classic car, but okay. All right, getting some ideas. Funny. Uh, Pennywise. Oh, let's see this one. All right. Uh... Ghost reading books. I don't, I don't find anything really funny about that. Mm, everybody's got that humorous one. Man, some of these are just whatever. Oh, wow. Check out that one. Popular now. Well, that's kind of a cool design, right? You just do it in sections, right? Clipping mask and illustrator. Very easy. Uh, anybody know this effect? How how easy is that? What What can we do in illustrator to make it like that? Like, say you download a picture. What do we have in Illustrator? Anyone? Image? Hey, who said it? Image trace. Yeah, look how easy. Down. Image trace. Image trace. Right? We have that filter. That's pretty easy, right? I kind of like this. You know what? I think I might do something like this. I like that one. But, uh, again... If you can't down download the picture, I'm just going to get this as a sample. Shift Command 4. Man, they're selling the heck out of these. And remember what I told you guys. I know a lot of you guys aren't thinking about, you know, trying to do a side hustle or making some money. But look at this. This is literally a digital file. All right. There's this, this person doesn't send you anything but a file that you download once you pay them. 279 Right. And then that means you can print this out as a sticker. You can put it on a shirt. You can put it on a laser engraver cutter. Right. Um, I wish it said how many they've sold. Sometimes it shows how many they've sold. But again, if you haven't thought of this, right, doing. Uh, doing this type of work and getting it out there. And I know some of you guys, well, I can't create an Etsy account without a credit card. Well, get get your parents or older brother, sister. Hey, help me out. I want to set up a store, right? Don't say that you can't do this stuff, right? Uh, you can. All right. Anyway, ooh, I like this one too. Look at that. A real man will chase after you. Ha, 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 ha. So simple, this stuff, right? Uh, look at this. They did uh, uh, pairing two fonts right there. They've got an outline on a real man. I mean, very easy stuff. Okay. All right. I kind of like that. Let's do that. And again, just funny stuff. Uh, and you can do a, also a funny Halloween, uh, I don't know, card. I usually go to cards. Oh, yeah. There's tons of stuff. Right. Again, if you have a quick drawing style and you can do something quick, that's fine. Uh, oh, look at that. Look how funny. Look how easy. Come on, load up. Load up. Uh, anyway, it's a bunch of pumpkins looking at a pumpkin pie. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right. If you like kitties, look at the little kitty. Whatever. Okay. I'm just going to do whatever. Okay. Let's do. Let's go to. Now, I want you guys to follow on this. Let's go to Vectezi. Okay. And let's type Halloween. Oh, man. Tons of stuff. Okay. Ooh, I've used this one before. And I got to print some stuff out because uh, anybody here like decorating for Halloween? Like actually the physical 
doing all the stuff, putting all the stuff. Really, all right. Wait till you're married and you got to put a big old uh, giant spider on the roof. No, nobody laughed. No, when it becomes a job. No, all right. I'll show you guys a picture of my house right now because the wife loves decorating for everything. And I'm not going to say that I'm like not into it. I just, it's, it's physical work once you have a lot of stuff to set up. So putting it up and taking it down, nobody ever wants to do that. That's the hard part. Okay. Um, so obviously the ones that say free, yes, stick to the ones that stay free. Don't download these other ones. Right. Number one, some are blocked because they're like based on Pinterest and they're just like hooked up through through here. Don't say, oh, I want this one no matter what. Blocked because it's on Pinterest. Right. OK. And again, if you download this, this will be a low res JPEG. Do not download stuff. Even if you oh, I want that. Well, it's not free. Right. Um, let's download. Does everybody see this one? That has some pumpkins. Anybody see this one? Yes? Right here? Let's see if we can download that one together. Again, sometimes they say Pinterest and, and they're blocked because of VPISD. Let's see. And you do not have to sign up. Let's hit free download. And you do not have to just, just proceed with download at the bottom. Remember, you have a limit about, I don't know, five or six. And if you're having issues, let me know. Okay, it downloaded that one for me. Okay, you don't have to join. And then I saw another one. This is a good example. There was one that had like a crazy background. Let's see. Oh, this one. Does everybody see this one? This big giant happy Halloween blue, kind of dark blue background. This one. Yes. Oh, dang it. What did I do? I lost it. Hold on. Let me do the search again. The reason I want to show you guys that is because I want to show you how to take some of these apart. All right. So let's stick to the free stuff. God, now where is it? Uh, all right, does everybody see this one? No? Just type Halloween. No? There it is, I see it. No? It says free. Yeah? No? I think it's that one. Okay, so let's download this one. And I'm just going to show you how you can separate it. You guys that love doing the, the whatchamacallit, the sub layers. This will come in handy. All right, so I just downloaded two, right? Just to show you. Where are they going to be? They're going to be in my downloads. Let's go to Finder. Downloads. Now they come in zipped, right? There's one. Double click it. And then do the other one. Double click it open, right? Well, now we got two folders. Now look here. Remember what, what, the, what the criteria shows you. Notice there's an EPS, there's a JPEG, and then there's a PDF information one, right? Look at what I wrote in the assignment. Do not use a JPEG. And I'm going to show you why. So let's open up this EPS. Open with, and you're going to open it with Illustrator. Right? Now, some of them, I'll just say yes on that when it opens, because some of these are old. And then on the second one, notice how I have an EPS. Now, EPS means uh, encapsulated postscript. Well, I had to think for a minute there. You don't really have to know that, but. Oh, dang it. I clicked the wrong one. Open with. Sorry. 
So remember what I said, open with, and then you open them in Illustrator. All right, don't place them. You want to open them. Because if you place them, then you don't, you're don't. you not going to be able to edit the vector, right? That's the whole idea that the vector is editable, right? All right, let's do this one first. Everybody looking? So I opened this one, right? They're all little individual symbols. And see, if you do command Y, you can see they're actually drawn up in vector, right? So that means you can edit them, command Y back. Now there is, um, you have to you have to be aware when you download stuff like this. Sometimes there's a background. I don't know if you guys see. If I click on this, there's literally a white background you can see on your toolbar. So I could delete that. I just hit delete. It looked like nothing happened. But now you have all these objects, and I can move them over, right? And I can use my sub layers as well on my layers, see how on a lot of these, if you use your sub layers, you can actually manually just select them differently through your sub layers, okay? Normally we don't use the sub layers, some of you guys do. Luckily these are not grouped. If they happen to come in grouped, you gotta go to object, ungroup. I'm not gonna do it to these because they're not grouped, but sometimes they come in grouped and you gotta ungroup them until you can select each one, all right? So you can literally, Select this, copy it, go to your sticker file, right? Here's my sticker. And what if I go to my Happy Halloween and all you do is paste it? Now, it might come in large, right? How do we scale without uh, stretching? We hold down that shift, right? I'm putting something together. There's my Happy Halloween. I didn't have to go and type it. Now, if you want to go and find your own font and download your own font, if you want to draw Happy Halloween on paper and take a picture with your phone, you're welcome to do that. But again, just a little bit of searching, and we've got our Happy Halloween. And is this stealing? Anybody? Am I stealing stuff? No. Right? That stuff was not copyrighted. It was posted for free by whoever the artist is. Right? I can now manipulate it. I could ungroup this, object ungroup, and I can take out this pumpkin and put something else in there. I could put another pumpkin. I find one that's scarier, right? Watch this, just to give you an idea, all right? But if I go back and I type scary pumpkin, right? What if I don't like that? Again, the whole idea of this assignment is can I do something quick, right? Scary pumpkin, here's some free, oh, look at those. Those are all free right there. I want a little scarier one. Oh, there we go. Look at that, I'm gonna download this one, right? I'm mixing and matching. That's really what I'm doing. Download. Again, if it tells you you already downloaded too many, uh, you can switch to another browser or quit out of the browser, actually quit out of Chrome or Safari or whatever you're using and it'll reset it, okay? So watch this. So I took out the original pumpkin it came with, right? I'm going to my downloads. I just downloaded a new scarier one that I like better, right? I, oh, these gave me an AI file. So that's even better because I know that's 100% Illustrator. I like these with the uglier, uh, uglier teeth. They look more ghoulish. Copy, right? I come over here. I'm gonna go to my pumpkin layer, Command F. It might be ginormous because these are all different file sizes. I scale it down. Everybody looking, right? Command zero. What if I don't like the color of this one? What do I do? Can I change these colors? Eh, of course I can. Watch this. I'm gonna make mine purpley. I know that's not a real word, but anyway. What if I scale this down? Here's my pumpkin that I want in there. I don't care if it's overlapping the, the happy. Could I grab the happy and scale that up and move it around and make it a little bit bigger? Yeah. Look at that. It almost fits perfect. Watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to click with my direct select arrow. Everybody looking? Direct select arrow. I click only on the orange color, and I go in here. Who's to tell me that I cannot 
change those colors. Of course I can. Watch what I'm going to do. You guys that love doing gradients, I'm going to go to my gradient. Right? Go to my gradient. It's hiding from me, window gradient. Sorry. There it is. Oh, it's hiding over here on the side somewhere. Oh, it's down here. Color. Paragraph. Transform. Sorry, it's because my screen is tiny. There's my gradient. There it is. Watch this. Everybody watching? Don't tell me you can't do this very quickly. So here's my orange color, right? And I'm going to add the orange to my gradient. It's going to look weird at first. But what if I want to make this? Watch this. I'm going to add some purple. We just put purple lights on on uh on our house watch this then i get my gradient tool on my actual tool and i drag it look at that what if i just want orange to purple oh beautiful look at that there i just modified it right does that look nice i like that i changed that right i'm cool with that Ooh, that's even better Right there, right? I changed it up, okay? Could I change the eyes? I click in here with my direct select arrow. It's kind of like a weird brown. I go to select, same fill color. It's only gonna select those because they're all the same color. How about if I make it pure red? You're welcome, right? I changed that up, right? You see what I did? Very easy. Let's hit save. I haven't saved my file. Uh, I'm going to save on my computer. You can save to your cloud, whatever you want. And I'm going to call this Halloween sticker. Put your initials, please, so I know whose it is when we get them. Cool. Say OK. Right? We got the ball rolling. All right. Happy Halloween. And again, mine's going to be very generic. Right? OK, so I've got that going. OK? Um Let's go to the other one that had some cool background stuff. Uh, it's hiding here. Oh, this one. Check it out. So we haven't gone to this one. And if you downloaded another one, that's fine. But these were the cool backgrounds. I love using them. I've done banners for my house. I've done banners for the school, for Halloween and stuff. Right? Uh, maybe we can do one together uh, next week or something. All right? So this one's cool. Now, notice, sometimes you get lucky. And if you click on these, on mine... Everything happens to be separate. But if it's not, then this is when you look at your layers. Look, whoever created this, they actually kept the background separate. So what's cool is if I turn this off, I can see the background. Look at that. Can I copy this background? Copy, Command C, go to my sticker. It's going to be ginormous, I know. Uh, place the image, let's call this background. Right? I'm just piecing stuff together. Piece in front. It's ginormous. Can I scale it down? Sure. And then this one, it's not really anything figurative or, or uh, an image or shape, right? I'm going to scale it for now, but I could have stretched it too. You know how we say don't stretch images, but this is kind of like not really an image. It's just kind of background colors, right? But what's the trick if I just want part of this? What can I do? Can I do a clipping mask? Of course I can. I'm going to do a circular because I'm going to make my sticker circular. Check this out. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to draw a circle in front of it. Let's do it three and a half inches. I'm going to make my 3.5 inches, even though my document is four. You can use the whole four inch document. There it is. Select both. Now turn everything else off. Sorry. Select both. Command what to make a clipping mask? Anybody? Command seven. There you go. There's my background. I'm going to take it to the bottom, right? Oh, I, I think I got rid of, uh, I didn't turn that layer off. Hold on. Man, seven. There we go. Turn everything back on. Move that to the bottom, right? That's my background. I'm coming up with a circular sticker. Look at that. All right. I'm going to lock that. I'm going to select this. I'm going to group Command G, the Happy Halloween. All right? I'll put that, I don't know, somewhere around here. Cool. 
All right. Happy Halloween. All right. And then I'm going to go back to the other one. Again, if you came up with something, if you drew something. Oh, I remember there's a funny one where they use the word uh, like a sheet. You know how you wear a white sheet to look like a ghost? Yeah. Let me see. There's always a funny one. Anyway, I'm going back to this one. Turn on the objects. I'm going to choose the house, copy it. Right? New layer, creepy house. You see what I'm doing, right? And I'm just piecing it together. So don't tell me you can't do this. All right. Again, if you come up with a with a funny tagline, right? Something funny. I'll show you guys one that I remember right now. That it's almost using a bad word, but it's not. All right. I got the old creepy house. Right. I'm gonna hit save. I already used those. Um I like some of these trees. These branches, some of the bats. Copy. New layer. Trees and bats. Again, also, if you know another language, right? Could you do something in another language? Sorry, I'm just piecing this together here. And these are grouped. How do I ungroup? Shift Command G. There it is. And I'm gonna just put this there. I'll put this guy down here. Right? I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm gonna turn this one sideways. R for rotate. Put a few bats in there. Sprinkle some bats. There you go. Look at that. Don't tell me you can't do this. Anybody here good at sprinkling bats around? No? Funny? Not funny? All right. How do I... How do I... Uh, I do the same thing. I make another circle. Right? To create a clipping mask. And then I'm going to select everything that was on that layer. Watch this. Oh. Trees and bats. Oh, there they are. Check it out. So I literally just place them, select all these, group them, Command G, right? I'm going to bring my circle back up, turn everything back on, and do another clipping mask. With just the trees and the bats. Command 7. There you go. You're welcome. Let's adjust that a little bit. Don't tell me you can't do that. Right? Easy. Option shift from the center. There we go. I'm going to do a bleed anyway. Right? So I'm putting something together. Right? Uh... Command S, let's get my cut line. I gave you guys a cut line, right? File open. Oh, on my desktop, sorry. Roland, I gave you guys a cut line. All right, now remember, this is, this is important, do not have more than one, command C, copy. Go to my cut line layer, command F, right? Now I'm gonna move this to the side because on mine, I want it to be round, right? I already have the color loaded right here. Remember, do not change this. Don't accidentally make it CMYK like that because then it's not a cut line, all right? Do not accidentally change it. So now I want a circle. I click, I tell it to be 3.5 by 3.5. Cool. There's my circular cut line. Now I am gonna need a bleed. That means I'm going to make sure my image is a little bit bigger and I'll do that right now. Remember, 
Now, this one that I brought in to initially bring in the cut line, I need to delete it. You only want one cut line because if not, you'll mess up other people's uh, uh, stickers. All right here are my layers. Uh, oh, I didn't put my cut line on my cut line. Let me move that cut line only. Oh, it is there. Okay. I moved the other the bats back. Okay, no, it's on its own layer. Now watch. I'm gonna I'm going to lock the cut line only. I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna select everything. Remember, I, I locked my cut line. Oh, I still have some bats over here on the side. And I'm gonna scale it with the option. Oh, I had the background locked, sorry. Like this, there we go. And I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit. So if you look close, I don't know if you guys can see on screen, the cut line is cutting in and it's gonna leave me a little bit of, of bleed color, right? I'm gonna probably have to move the, the Halloween. Now, the stroke of the cut line <clears throat> has to be, what do we say? 0.25, so make sure you do that stroke just for the cut line. Oh yeah, it's way, way too small. I think it's on that file like that to begin with. There it is. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna scale down my Happy Halloween a little bit because it's right up against my cut line, right? Okay, and then the last part, I didn't do a funny one, but I'll show you a funny one right now, right? So there it is. It's nothing fancy, I know but you guys will have a little bit more time to come up with something creative, right? And then the last thing I wanna do is your copyright, okay? So we're gonna go to that layer. And this is super easy, okay? Uh, you may have already a, uh, a font that you like, but can we go to the internet and find a creepy font? Yes, check it out. Let's go to the internet, free fonts. Everybody should know how to do this, right? And then type Halloween. Look at that. You got some, oh, look at that one, gnarly spine. If you guys love bones and skulls and stuff, there you go. Halloween spooky. Now, remember for the, for the copyright, you want it to be a little bit readable. I like this one, Halloween spooky. I'm going to use that one. Oh, there's tons of stuff. Oh, look at that. Magnificent. That's from like the some of the movies or animated stuff. Wow. Oh, there's tons of stuff. Look at that. Very nice. Coraline. Anybody know Coraline? Yes? Look at that. You got that font. That's like a... Uh, very cool. All right. Remember, you want your copyright to be readable. Let's go to our... Finder. Uh, I just downloaded that font. Where'd it go? Hmm. Oh, downloads. There it is. Halloween Spooky. Everybody should know how to install a font. All you do is open it. OTF or TTF. Double click. Right? Everybody got that? If you want to do your, your Instagram uh, uh, tag on this or whatever you want, watch this. You don't have to put your name. Install. Yeah. Cool. Everybody remember what the name of the font is? No one? Halloween Spooky. All right. We'll go to Illustrator. I'm going to my copyright layer. I'm going to move that to the top. Also, your cut line should be at the top. All right? So we can see it. Uh, I'm going to take the type tool on my copyright. Click right there, and I'm going to put, I'm actually going to put mine, T Novo. How do we get a copyright? Option, option G will give you the copyright. Now, some fonts, some fonts will not give you the copyright option. Watch, let's see. Let me zoom in. Now, watch this. I'm going to do Command T. I'm going to look for my font, right? What was it? Spooky. You got to know the name of it. Halloween Spooky Regular. Oh, it does have the copyright. Cool deal. 
Some don't have the copyright, so you might have to do the copyright in another font. And then here are, I put it on the next, the next uh, line, right? If I wanted to, I could get them a little bit closer to each other using the, make sure you have show options on here, right? Notice I'm doing the letting. This is a space in between, right? Could I give this a little space so that it's more compact? They're kind of nestled within each other like that. They're kind of like that. I didn't do a lot. I did an outline them. And I'm going to scale it and put it right here. Right? Now, I do think sometimes you, you should outline the font at the very end, but not until you do the final one. So I think I've got all my criteria. I'm going to do Command S. All right? So if you do have any live fonts, what I would do, is at the very end. So right now I have my AI file, right? This is my AI file. My sticker is ready to go, right? Uh, I am gonna select any fonts that are live, like the one I just did. Shift Command O, it's just always good practice to outline that font right before you save it as your final PDF. Save as, and then save on your computer. And you're gonna call this one like that. I, I like to put final or you know, to print, whatever you want, final, PDF, save as PDF. We want press quality, save as PDF. And remember, close it immediately. Don't ever work in a PDF. And there's my file, and I've got myself a sticker. Cool. That's ready to print. Everybody got it? Pretty easy? Yes? No? Anyone? All right. Now, the other places you can look at if you want actual photos are Unsplash. This is the last thing I'll show you. Uh, I don't know if they've got Halloween stuff. I'm just going to type in there. Remember, you can download these. These are giant. Oh, yeah, they got some. If you want to do something more photographic in style, look, here's some cool stuff. Here's a coffee with a little ghost in it. Ooh, look at this image of the cat. Again, we're not we're not doing anything where I want you to make anything from 100% scratch. I want to be done today, the latest next class, right, so we can print these out. But some of you guys can pull this off today. Oh, look at these, like, little mini black pumpkins, right? This is all good quality photography. Look at that. Wow, some good stuff. Cookies. Oh, look at that jack-o'-lantern on somebody's lawn. Oh, look at that smoky one, right? So this is the other one, unsplash.com. All right. So anybody want to see my house? How it looks? Yes. Anybody? Anybody care? Here, let me show you. This took a lot of work. And then when you're, when you're married, you kind of have to do it or else your wife gets mad at you. Oh, I just recorded that. I hope she doesn't hear it. Hope she doesn't watch my YouTube channel. All right. Check this out. Oh, there it is. What do you think? No? Yes? We got the 12-foot Skelly, that real expensive one. I won't say how much it costs. We've got the animated witch that scares the heck out of you when you're not knowing. The wife loves putting her little pumpkins down there with lights. There's my cat. We got the purple lights. This one's already purple too. And then you see that spider? That sucker's big, man. I had to, I had to climb up there to bolt it to the roof. Not fun, but whatever. All right. Cool deal. Maybe someday you'll do that. Okay. All right, everybody got it? Yeah? All right, let me stop sharing, stop recording.